All right, folks. Um, again, this is mixed with the recipe without the extender. This is with the extender. And when you're mixing paints, you just try and want to get it to look like melted ice cream. And when you drip it, this kind of disappears and doesn't cause, doesn't have like a little lump or anything, just goes right into the surface. So oh, there we go. Just so you get an idea. There we go. All right. I'm going to set you up up here again if you don't fall. All right. All right. Let's see here. What it looks like there. Okay. Turn it a little bit. There we go. All right. I'm going to do a uh, flip cup on both. So I'm going to pour this into the side here. I'll do about half of each and then layer it. Always want to go down the side of the cup um, so the paints don't mix into each other. They, they layer nicely and turn out great. Uh, otherwise, it might get muddy. All right, so there's that one. Okay. This is the one with the extender. Half in. I used was what were uh, Royal Ruby Metallic by Deco Art. I love the metallic ones, they're my favorite. Um, Peacock Pearl uh, by Deco Art as well, it's metallic. And then uh, Folk Art Acrylic, and what's that color? Um, it's like Buttermint. Buttermint. Okay. Alright, so without extender, I'm gonna. Flip it there, let it sit for a second. Flip it here, let that sit for a second. Let it, all the paints kind of do what they're doing. And already, with the one with the extender, has all the cells already, you can see them. Now you have a few over here. Um, let me go ahead and lift it. Let it do its thing. Okay. Obviously, my table is not level, but I will go ahead and just manipulate this. It has a lot of cells, and that is amazing. Over this way. Second, get all this paint off my hands. I love poor painting, but it is so messy. <clears throat> Out of there. Pull that around a little bit more. Here. Just do a few 
problems in there. I filtered everything, um, except for the paint. Obviously, maybe the paint was uh, a little lumpy, but I thought I stirred it pretty well. Um, and that is Gato. That's one of my cats. Yeah, I hear you, Gato. I know you're not getting enough attention. All right. Let me get my hands cleaned off and I'll bring you down what you look at it some. So as I suspected the extender made a lot of cells and I haven't even fired this yet so there's that one and then here's the one without the extender. So let me get my torch. There we are. Definitely get the bubbles out at the very least. And there are some cells in here. And, you know, in all honesty, you can add um, silicone. But I, I'd prefer not to because after it dries, you have to, you know, get some alcohol and um, wipe off the canvas or the record or whatever it is um, before, you, before you glaze it. Well, to me, that's, that, that's, a, that's an obvious you know, experiment um, conclusion. Uh, but again, you know, if you don't like as many cells, then, then don't use the extender. Um, or if you want to just use, I mean, it looks like the coverage on this is a little bit um, more solid and uh, a little bit thicker. This one seems a little thinner, but still, I mean, I, I like it. I think it looks great. So anyway, draw your own conclusions. Or you can comment as you like. Um, and have a great day. Bye.